It's a daily product. We do a, basically we do a variety show every day. Um, and we need something fast, we need something stable. And so far the Alpha system has been both fast and stable. It really changed the way that we do animations here in-house. We do animations from skip titles and uh, show opens. And it changed the turnaround time from a day or two to a couple of hours. That's the kind of speed that we need. As our needs have grown, uh, the needs to be able to turn out animations quickly uh, meant that we needed to go to a faster processor. The Alpha chip was a uh, standout as far as the, the speeds. We play directly off hard drive into the show um, and record video from the show and play it back for bumpers and so forth, credit rolls, uh, straight off the of hard drive. That's why we need something that's reliable. American Werewolf in Paris is our first big uh, special effects feature film. This effect, for instance, right here was going to be render heavy, and we decided that Panther Ray would provide us the most economical solution if we uh, needed to get an awful lot of processors to, to do the final rendering. Uh, Softimage, I think, today is uh, uh, pretty much the undisputed leader in character animation, and this is a character animation project, and that's one of the main reasons we selected Softimage. We do a lot of our rendering on the deck boxes, and I, I can tell you that from a performance point of view, we don't have any machines here that outperform the deck alpha. We can do quite a bit on there, and there's no sense in putting a $100,000 workstation in front of a user when a $15,000 or $20,000 one will do. I think uh, you know, SGI, is, SGI is a player, but they're not a, they're not a player in the price performance. DEC is certainly the, the performance leader. I'd say our choice of hardware pivots on the ability to deliver the best possible work in the shortest amount of time. And um, certainly a big room full of decks would help us do that. <laughs> well, for a hardware decision, we need to find a machine that can run the software that we need fast. And uh, the DEC Alpha offers that to us through its price and performance capabilities as well as its ability to run Unix and another operating system such as Windows NT. I think really the opportunity to have two environments on one box is exciting. It allows us to port our code on the same desktop workstation from uh, Unix to NT. That's doubly exciting because then that allows us two revenue streams. We've got one revenue stream where, uh, say we're in a Unix environment and we can actually use the box to render on. We can go to the NT environment and use it to uh, perhaps animate on. If you're working in a Unix environment, you've learned that, you understand it, and what DEC has done, I think, uh, very wisely is said, we, we understand that and we embrace that, and, and what we want to offer you now is the ability to do both. Exec producers like myself will go, oh, gee, now there's an opportunity to um, save some money if we've got another show where we need to throw in 30 workstations. Here might be an opportunity to take advantage of uh, some cost savings there, and the performance has been magnificent. Today, I could be running um, U.S. Animation under Digital Unit. Tomorrow, I can put in a new disk, okay, I can format it under NT, and I'm running Soft Image on the same machine. So that protects my investment in hardware. We are about four weeks from opening the door. We have 35 digital alpha workstations coming in. We have a total of four multiprocessor servers coming in, which will be deployed to do computer graphics jobs. The reason we chose to run Soft Image on the digital alpha boxes is speed. Um, it's, once you have it up with the graphical user interface, uh, we're using uh, the PowerStorm boards with uh, more texture memory than would fit in a competing machine. I can move more pixels through those boxes than I can at an equivalent price any other box on the market. Reason number one for going with alpha price. You can't get anything faster, cheaper. We can actually make corrections to Star Trek footage directly into uh, their post-production facility via the internet and had it delivered to them in 20 minutes. Those machines have run two years continuously. Uh, you know, we have a saying at Foundation Imaging, a machine comes into the place, it gets turned on, it gets turned off when it dies. The equipment that digital equipment provides is second to none. It is super, super reliable. In a couple of weeks' time, this shop will essentially be, as far as Lightwave is concerned, a, an Alpha-only shop. Alpha 275s are being taken out of the racks 
they're being put on people's desktop at the night time, they will still be render engines. They just run all day, every day. I need that, that's what I expect, that's what they deliver. I turn over all the hardware in this place every 18 months. Anybody in this business has to do that. I'll be quite honest, if you bought SGI and you're having to amortize the cost of that equipment over three years, the second half of that amortization, you're behind the curve. The software was very sophisticated and the platforms were you know, very well priced, extremely well priced and their price performance, how fast they were and hence we decided to uh, use deck alphas. We have three deck alphas, one of them is a 275, we have a, a 333 megahertz alpha and we also have a 500 megahertz alpha. We have seen um, probably a four-fold or sometimes a, a five-fold speed increase uh, between the Alpha and a PC. And once again, it, it allows for impossibles to become possible. Things that we could have never rendered, and we now can. And that really translates to us looking better and uh, allows us to do things that we could have never done before. Now, if you want a lightweight, that's great. Uh, you see that the rendering is much faster on deck alpha, but when you actually write your own code and you compile that for the Pentium and you compile that for the deck and you see your own code running and you know what's going on, you know what processes it's doing and how much faster it actually is, it's really pleasing to see. The SGI has not satisfied us in terms of the speed. The, the rendering has been nice, the quality has been nice, but it's just simply has been too slow. Our 500 megahertz alpha is probably three times faster than our indigos. My company consists of myself and Softimage running on a deck alpha. The alpha is the key to it all. As business started to grow and my clients' demands increased, I needed to get something that had a lot of horsepower and a software package that had more controls that I could offer to the client and be able to give them exactly the look they want because they're very particular and Soft Image has incredibly great animation capabilities. Animating in Soft Image, I need to move my character fast enough to meet my client's production schedule. So I have this MIDI fader hooked up with the channels driver. So I set up presets where one row of 16 will control all of the arm motions. I could now do in two and a half hours something that's usable that I couldn't even do in a couple of days. In the show that I'm doing now, uh, steve.odekirk.com, is all about doing what Ernie Kovacs did when TV first started, which was exploiting visual comedy. When I was uh, pitching the special, I bought the Alpha because I needed, I, had, I was initially going to do this before I shot my movie, Nothing to Lose, so I had like no time. So I, had to, I wrote the show in a couple weeks. And I knew when I brought the script in, because it's so different. All right, I'll do the Nuggets part. Say, uh, I have your son. Tell me I have your son. I have your son. Give it back, my son. It's so odd in a way, and weird, and visual, that I needed something to present visually, or they just think I was completely out of my mind. And uh, I got the alpha, because it's the only thing. I had to render something really quick. So I, I got the alpha and put together some image, uh, images in um, not only Lightwave, but also Animation Master. And I, I bought the alpha specifically because I knew I had to crank it out really quick. There's a day in the not too distant future where you just have a teenager at his house and he does an entire half hour show and everybody goes, whoa.